Yo, 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 What is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D, POV, and we are back, man. We are back. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button one time for the one time. Thank you, Kyle. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button right there. And then after you're done hitting that like button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, salute to the homie Kwame Brown. Hey, today is Sunday. Hey, if you did not go to church this morning like myself, because you woke up late and you know, low key don't like going to church and driving and finding parking and walking and then dealing with all that extra stuff, like, <sighs> yeah. But I do believe that. But, but anyway, <laughs> if you didn't go to church, hey, listen to Kwame's Brown, Kwame Brown's live. He was preaching today. Preacher. Brown, Deacon Brown, Reverend Brown, Reverend Kwame Brown was, was he, he was in his bag today. Listen to his full service, his full sermon. All right. <laughs> go watch his foot. Seriously, go listen to his full um, live stream. He was talking on a lot of different subjects, but the, this is just one portion of his live stream, but he was talking some real stuff this morning. And one of the things that he was talking about was young NBA boy. What's his name? I don't even know the name. Uh, NBA young boy. NBA young boy. I'm just going to give you a little backstory. So you can, for those people that don't know what's going on or why he's talking about NBA young boy. NBA young boy recently came out to the public and said that I like to wear makeup. <laughs> because I look. Because I like to look like a, a rock star. And this is what he came up as. Now. Conspiracy theorists. This is your time to shine. All my conspiracy theorists out there. This is your time to shine. Because. Just look at the image of a black man these days. According to. The media. We don't look as powerful and as strong as we used to. That's a fact. That that is a fact. You can literally go down media timeline and look at all the interesting ways that the media is presenting black men. And this right here is just another prime example of they just trying to demasculinize lies. Black men, they trying their best to make us look weak as possible. I've said this in a couple of videos before. These artists, they don't know what's going on. They with the get up, go along and get along game. When these artists create these music videos and they have these demonic satanic images in their videos. Do you think they truly know what it means? Or do you think the producer or someone in higher position already had that video planted out already had that video mapped out? They just needed a face. There's people in higher position that just need a face. They don't want to be the artist. But guess who wants to be the artist? Guess who wants the fame, fortune, and the clout? Black people and us black people are pretty much willing to do anything and everything. And isn't young, isn't NBA young boy, wasn't he recently call up, caught up in some trouble? Like, with the laws or something like that. I, I, I really don't pay attention to him like that. But I think he recently just got, um, was in jail or something like that. And coincidentally, now he's coming out saying that I like makeup. Hmm. Do you think he truly feels like that? Or someone is telling him to feel like that, to portray a certain image to young black America? So, 
That's how I feel about the situation. I don't believe NBA young boy likes to wear makeup. I don't believe that. Because if he liked to wear makeup, he would have did that a long time ago. But now that he's rich, famous, and he's in trouble with the law, now he likes to wear makeup. Oh, okay, I got you. Um, and I want to play this audio from the clubhouse of NBA Youngboy saying that he likes to wear makeup. Would you like to hear it? Here you go. I like, I like doing my face. I like, I like, I like painting my face or putting makeup on. I like, I don't know. I like to just look in the mirror and see everything black, like my eyes and shit. Hmm. What you mean? Because you know, that picture we seen that that was with, with like the last like yeah, that's that's a hundred percent real. That's me being myself. That's me. That's I don't know. I feel comfortable that way. Like is that is that like face paint? Nah, that's, that's I don't know. Make that makeup. That's some shit. That's some shit from Mac. I made my engineer go back. Oh. Yeah, it give me like the golf feeling, like you know, like rock stars and shit. So he sent his engineer to go to Mac to get some foundation. I don't know what that is. He said he likes the goth look. He likes the um, rock star look. Rock star look. This. And you know what? He has the voice of the youth. Like literally, NBA young boy is the voice of the youth. And I just find that very interesting that the voice of the youth all of a sudden likes to wear makeup, likes to put on black lipstick, likes to put on black shadow. And guess what that's going to do to the b black youth? Oh, he likes to wear makeup? Mama, take me to Mac. I want to be like a young boy. Mm. Interesting. So. That's the whole backstory, right? That's the whole backstory. Now let me let y'all listen to Preacher Preacher Brown today. Every time I go somewhere, man, I'm just telling you the passion that these people, women and men, women, black women and black younger males, the older ones already felt like this. They were just waiting on somebody to say something. But the younger males are coming up to me like, yo, dog, I rock with you. I respect what you're saying. You're right. Because everybody can't be a, 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 a Kwame Brown or any NBA player or any celebrity. That don't mean that these men are not men amongst men in their own right. That don't mean they woman got to go look up to a celebrity. That don't mean that this nigga right there next to you ain't a bad motherfucker. So that's why I think these young dudes is rocking with me because it's like, man, I, I ain't stepping on your toes. You don't got to step on mine. You could be great over there and I could be great over here. <laughs> Five lanes in the highway. And if we could piece up and do something, let's do it. If not, it don't got to be no issue because we got a bigger fight than that, people. We got a way bigger fight than to keep wasting our time fighting with each other. Trust and believe that. The black male image is at an all-time low right now. It's at an all-time low. The way the rest of the world, forget how we look at ourselves. Forget the, the big-ass chains. Forget the cars. Forget all the bitches you're fucking, okay? Forget all that. Our image is at an all-time low. Because guess what? White boys and every other man doing the same thing you doing. They doing it better than you doing it. The women ain't telling on them and they getting it for free probably. And they moving around this motherfucker and getting the respect like a white man. Cause ain't nobody shooting at them. Ain't nobody chasing after them. Ain't nobody making them bite no apple. Ain't nobody making them speak for a whole race of people saying, get a juggernaut because it's better for you. It's affecting us the worst. Ain't nobody coercing them to do nothing. They're able to be upright individual men and women like it. So no matter what, women bend and fold when a white strong man come around with money and power because it's infectious. That's what they like. And what do we look like black men? 
You want me to believe that NBA young boy really like makeup. That's what you want me to believe. You want me to believe as a man that NBA young boy really like lipstick. You know, that's what you want me to believe. You want me to believe that NBA young boy, after all this gun toting, shooting gangster talk, that he's going to come out and say, after that looks masculine, that's what uh, most of males in the black community and our community think masculinity is. A tough ass, gun toting, shooting crazy, wild motherfucker. That's what we think masculinity is. And so that apple, they done put a big old apple bigger than his face because he ain't want to do this shit. They said, okay, that's what you think is tough. That's what y'all young niggas think is tough? Let me break that down. Let me show you we still own that too. Nigga, go put on some lipstick and makeup. They took this man music off of the internet. So they slowed down his revenue screen. Don't you see the apple that they have for us black men? Don't you know how many do low twists they trying to put me in? Don't you know they trying to use every angle and anybody and everybody that know me to fuck up with me? NBA young boy found a way to make white. I saw a white older man and a white older woman singing that NBA young boy song with him and Quando Rondo on it. And I thought to myself, as I'm hearing them sing the song, I was in Savannah. I hearing them sing this song next to me, and I thought just what white people probably thought. Why the fuck is these old white people singing this nigga song? And I said it like that. Sorry, guys. But sorry, YouTube. This is a teachable moment. Because this is how people really think. When I saw two older white people singing a song by NBA Youngboy, I said, what the fuck? Why the hell are these two white folks singing this nigga song? I couldn't believe it. I didn't understand it. So if my black ass didn't understand it, I know these white folks don't understand it. I know these white folks that they send their kids to the best school, give them scones and cheesecake and, and, and all this shit, and then they come back and they come sag their pants and wear their cap and tell their mama, fuck you, bitch, and they listening to NBA Youngboy and those parents blame it on their rapper. They can't figure out why in the hell. I gave him everything. Henry was a good kid until he started listening to NBA young boy. They don't take no responsibility and say, well, shit, maybe I failed as a parent that NBA young boy had that much influence over my son or my daughter. Maybe I failed as a parent because instead of me talking to my kid, spending time with my kid, I wanted to be famous. I wanted to be rich. I wanted to make money. So I spent so much goddamn time at work building my career that I don't even know this little motherfucker. Yeah, he got the best school. Yeah, yeah, I gave him the best education. I sacrificed for you. The only thing I wouldn't give you though is time. The only thing I won't give you is my time. So you got kids growing up rich with connected to nothing, no love whatsoever. All they want is money. All they find value in is getting a bunch of stuff. So when I have conversations with people, it don't assimilate. Because when I say I'm connected to something, I don't give a fuck about money because it's easy to get and it's just a piece of paper. Since I was 14 years old, I know how to go get some money. Woo! Hey, I need to download when 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 he's in his preacher bag i need to i need to download some let me see black church piano is it piano i need a i need to download some of those those dun, dun, dun. when when he start preaching like that I got to start, uh, <laughs> I got to start, uh, hitting that button. Oh, huh, here you go. Yeah. Hey. 
I'm gonna find one of those those little dun, 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 dun. hey I'm gonna find that drop because when preacher when Reverend Brown be preaching he be preaching and basically how do y'all feel about this and I told y'all in the beginning of the video NBA Youngboy seriously has the young black youth in his hands like literally pe the the young black audience love nba young boy that's it that's who is his main audience is the is the young black men young young black boys and girls like they, they love nba young boy and it's very ironic now that i guess mainstream know that or or the 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 higher uppers know that NBA young boy has the pretty much has the hearts of young black men and young black women and he's in trouble with the law oh so you're the chosen one huh come here boy let me talk to you we got some things we need for you to do if you don't do it guess what's going to happen to you in your career <laughs> Step number one, wear makeup. So, I said that to say this. Do you honestly believe that NBA Youngboy, deep down in his heart, deep down in his soul, do you think he really likes to wear makeup? Or do you think someone told him to wear makeup? Mr. Shoot 'em up, bang bang, Mr. Young, Mr. I don't get, Mr. Mr. I'm, I'm, I'm NBA young boy is like a young Tupac, <laughs> just because he speaks to the youth. Now all of a sudden, we see him wearing makeup. Do you think that's really him, or do you think that's somebody else telling him what to do? Hey! <laughs> Preacher Crowley Brown. Thank you for this service. Thank you for your message. And if y'all haven't listened to the whole live stream, go watch it because he talks about a lot of other dope stuff. And I'm going to get that Black Baptist church piano. Dun, dun. So when he start preaching, I can just do it. I'm here the next time. But it's your boy, DMB. I'm signing out, baby. Peace.